Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Mexican Junta here. Yes, we've taken over a slice of South America and taking over a slice of North America further than our borders. In fact, I think the whole coast is now ours, apart from, well, Canada and Alaska. Uh, yes, no, Alaska. I went Alaska. Um, Anyway, where are we? Uh, well, we are leaving the Americas bit of a predicament here in that they're being sliced up by us and the Free and American Empire, who we set up as a coup. Um, the United States, Canada, United Kingdom are in the Allies, who are fighting against the German Reich, Italy and Vichy France. And they are fighting against the Soviets, yes, on many fronts it looks like, so um, it's all up for grabs at the moment. The world is in a bit of a turmoil state, nothing to do with us. We had all those troops on our border and then we decided uh, that was an unacceptable position, so uh, we did, yeah, you, well you were there, you saw it. We had to do something about it, so we did, so we attacked instead of kind of being pounced upon. Um, yeah, we did set up this though, so I suppose that is an issue. And I've just noticed something here. What's going on here? Is this why we couldn't do that Phil Marshall order in the last episode? I seem to remember that was a bit of an issue. Let's see if I can grab that and give us a proper order. Because it would be good to do that. Yay, we can. Well, that's very two fingers stuck up with the United States there. How are they looking? Um, so they are 34% towards capitulation. I would have thought that would have been more, to be honest, but it's not. Um, I've done a bit of it in between episodes. I've just noticed that we've got some green troops. So I've just pulled them out of the lines. Let's get them trained up. We are short of equipment, so... I've retasked some of our um, factories just to get done what we need to get done. Oh, hold on, I didn't actually see this. We don't need all that trade coming in. Uh, that's probably because we haven't got the factories actually producing shit. So, do apologise. Uh, yeah, uh, it's an issue at the moment. We will ask for it when it comes to it, but we don't need it at the moment. So let's have those factories actually doing something useful and giving us what we want. Um, I'm going to reduce supplies from... No, no, I've already done that, haven't I? Uh, who else? China. Okay, let's go with that. Yep, it's just enough. Okay. What were we doing? Um, I've no idea. I think we were planning an attack, weren't we? But our troops... Well, they're going to need to move around again because we're not affecting this border, are we? So... Can we get a move on there? Because he says go. Let's use the time that we've got. Hold on, we've got gaps in the... This is <laughs> this is what happens in Hearts of Iron. The computer moves stuff around, but I don't think it actually kind of thinks about it because it then moves them into certain areas which they probably shouldn't be. Uh, thus leaving holes in the holy mother of god front line that is uh, if that is if there are no troops there which i don't think there are that is a big hole um i think we were actually attacking to, into these areas anyway so I'm not too sure about this but Seriously, red group are up there. Yeah, oh yeah, it's because the lines moved, on it? Yeah, okay. That's a bit annoying. Uh, can we not do that? Sure, that's the easy way to go. Um, all these troops down here are just kind of wasted at the moment, aren't they? I'm not saying they're on drugs or anything, but they, yeah, they're just wasted. Uh -huh. Get on with it, man. Um, yeah, we haven't got that much manpower to actually play with at the moment, so we're gonna have to be very careful about what we do. I reckon. Or I reckon. 
drugs man um, no we're not going against the odds at the moment um, I'm, do you know I'm gonna do this um, I'm gonna accept that non-aggression pad because I think that may be causing a problem um, with our whole lifestyle choice <laughs> uh, yeah maybe not um, I'm gonna go back to doing that I think I don't think there's anything else that I can actually do there to actually get more manpower so well they have left Vancouver open and okay yeah sure why not let's take it we we're actually battling against the Japanese there seriously um don't be doing that you don't need to do that sir you just you're either there you either sit there or you progress with these guys no, I'm, I'm going to move that way because I want to go over there with my mates. Yeah, because that's what we're like. Yeah. Son of a guns. Right, let's move in. Let's not just hold our forces any further than we need to. Let's do something useful because we know from the Italian campaign that, we, that that is a separate entity. So that would be good to get that. We're only getting 3.15 thousand men per month, so we need to do something about that. Uh, okay, so if you can't do that, get in there like that. Just break through those front lines. Um, can I get you guys to do that? You get over. He's He can't defend that because he's not there. Okay, so we're defeating uh, opposition. That's can we not take that back? Apparently not. Uh, I don't want to be doing night and non-aggression packs with everybody, so let's not do that. Uh, let's have some of these back to where they need to be. So. I don't want to put all those motorized troops back with that guy though. Because they seem to be kind of just getting bogged down because they've got no infrastructure around them. Um, Sub those with him. And those with him. Okay. That'll do for now. Right, are you both moving there? Did I tell you both to do that? I don't think I did. You get in there. How many troops are there? There's only one division there. Attack. That Canadian division there is obviously quite tough. But we may, I'm going to say, we may see the end of that division because we are still attacking. Nice. That's what I want. Attack. Get in there. Take it. Right, what the hell is going on here? Seriously, why are we not moving into these areas? I've got motorized troops here. Let's, come on, let's exploit this. One go in there. Seriously, just do that then. Let's get you guys. There's troops up there, so let's get you guys doing that. We've got Grey Troop. They're halfway through anyway, that's fine, they'll take up that position. No, just move straight ahead. Um. Okay, not sure. They're moving in there. I'm thinking it's all empty territory, it's not. There are troops there, we just can't see them. But we are still moving around ourselves because of our stupid field marshal that keeps on doing this bloody nonsense. 
Seriously, I'm going to fire this guy out of a cannon because this is just stupid. I've got all these troops here just sat doing nothing. Oh, get on there. And have we actually got a gap in the lines here? Because we, if we have, I will exploit that. Go for it. No, we haven't. Mind you, that'll come as a root shot, because they'll be thinking, no, 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 these guys can take it. No, 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 these guys are going to have it instead. How many troops have we got there? Yeah, this, they're moving in troops from this side as well. So they've got us and the axis to actually deal with. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Enough frivolity. Do you think you're here for fun? Okay. Um, bloody thing is there, isn't it, that I can't get rid of. This sodden thing. I can't even decommission it just to get rid of it. But as you can see there, we are running out of stuff. So I'm going to reduce these at the moment so that we can actually get built stuff that we need to. Yeah, all of the factories have gone up there, haven't they? Are they being attacked? No, it's just the infrastructure that's being attacked. It's the bloody Americans with their f chuffing aircraft. Um, we've got fighter interception on, but... Well, let's get a couple of those up in the mix. Let's give their aircraft something to think about as well as everything else. Uh, right, um, we could I suppose do another aircraft. We're not doing that though so we ought to. We've got the points for it, let's do that. What is this? Rocket artillery. Cool. Okay, um, Right, now, I did want to have a look at this before I was rudely interrupted. So let's move in there. Okay, they're taking that as their order to do that, aren't they? Are we moving in there? I think we are. Right, so, let's get you guys moving over here. place that we've actually made any difference at the moment. As you can see our troops are not fully supplied so we have got a lack of equipment going on. Doesn't help that I'm actually training them either at the same point. Um, let's put those with him. Last one to him. Okay, let's get that going again. Because if we have got the issue with the aircraft from America, that will solve part of it, I suppose. That's a good thing. Did we actually increase? Uh, we have just slightly increased our manpower from that. Not a lot, but. Let's get those moving up there. Okay, so I did actually see this in the last episode. And I did wonder what that was about. And having just before coming on air, I had a quick look at this. Um, okay, I can actually do that now. So, how many can I ask for? Ooh. Right, okay, not that many apparently. 
Um, right, they're not gonna give me any. Ooh, Dominican Republic. Is that it? Oh wow, no, there's more. There is more. Because I want more troops. Oh, but th would that go just for these? It will, won't it? Okay, so let's not do that then. So let's ask for, I don't know, five troops from there. And four from there. Cheers. Okay, what I do want is them for this though. So if we could have these guys just bumped up to maximum. Okay, nobody wants to give us any more troops now because well, apparently we have run out of favours. Well, this is Argentina, who we were going to invade. Brazil, how many can they give us? Five. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, mateys. Okay, well they hopefully uh, will come, so that would be more manpower. Because we are not producing anything at the moment, which is atrocious. Right, did we actually push them back? No. That's the answer to that. Um, I'm going to tell this guy to stop, because he's just making silly manoeuvres there, which he doesn't really need to. Um, can we now attack on many fronts? I think probably yes. Non aggression pack. Don't want to know about it. How many divisions they got there? There's three divisions, so let's watch that go red quite soon. While you're watching it go red, I'll have a quick slurp of tea. Okay, can't watch it go red because it's gone that colour. 257 days for the next one is a bit far. Um, we could get that, but... I'm not too sure whether that would actually give us anything. That would probably be better though. Ah, now we need to do something with our disastrous trade because that is being hit it looks like. Okay, so let's open up negotiations with China again. And the trouble is we lose our factories that way. Um, right, do we really need to build nuclear at the moment? Probably not. So let's bring that down. That's the Panama Canal in it. Do we really want to do that at the moment? No, but we do need to do one of them. So let's do that. Who is this? Non-aggression pack. Don't want to know. Uh, right, so our attack halted, did it? Can we go again? I'm sure if we persuade them very nicely like this, I'm sure they will move out of our way. That's the whole reason for war, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure it is. I'm sure tactical doctrines is, yeah, just apply pressure. No, I think we're going to run out of juice before we're, at, we're able to do anything else. They are actually retreating, so if I push them into the mix, and then have them support. We may be able to break through that. And we have. Yes. Good. 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 Reinforcements are on the way though. That's the problem. Hopefully we can keep hold of that. Oh, that little salient there. If we can cut that off, we can cut these guys off. No, they've got really small Sherman tanks. So there's like dwarfs in there or something. Attack dwarfs, yeah. You've heard of attack dwarfs, of course. Um, right, I reckon this is an area we can actually exploit now. Well, maybe not you. I don't know what you were doing, but going behind the lines to get somewhere 
All right, you've taken up a position there. That's fine. Now, presumably, it will take a while for these guys to actually get their forces into position. Yeah, because they're going by a train. Fair enough. Hopefully, they're going to come fully armed. Um, okay, let's stop that attack then. Because that's National Spain that's having a crack now, but... <laughs> yeah, go for it, mate. There's three divisions there. They'll stop you. Right, how are we doing? Because we still have a shortage of equipment, which is not so good. I want my bloody factories back so they can start producing stuff. But we are maxed out on our efficiency cap at the moment, so... Let's do that, because we should be able to increase that, shouldn't we? Um... The efficiency is not really mattered on the others down there, it's only the one. Uh, this we can do, I think, in a bit. We haven't got enough points yet, so I will leave that before we get our next one. Uh, what are we going to do with that in the meantime? Um, haven't got any more of those to do. We could get another tank, I suppose. Or we could get a better... Can't do that because we're doing that, aren't we? Should we? I'm just thinking, should we actually do those? But no. Let's use our resources that way. Get our. And you know, I'm gonna accept that because that will make a difference, I think, to our tactical layout and theirs. I'm not too forced now if the United States goes down to us or them. Um, why is this green troop here? Is he lo Oh no, he can't move any further because he's got low organisation. At the end of the day, he needs equipment. But then I think that is the same for everybody actually in the United States at the moment because I think the Americans are bombing our convoys like anything. That's why we can't get anything towards the front line. So let's stop building nuclear reactors and let's get our anti-air up again. Give them something to think about. Okay, let's have a look at the air situation. Um, enemy air detection is 1%. But air detection is up to 24. So we're using binoculars are we yeah we are we are being invaded wow the Japanese are trying an invasion on surely they would have a problem there because that is my territory yeah we've got hold on we've got six six we've got all that supremacy have they got a naval invasion going on bloody computer cheating again. Do I want to know about that? No. Um, I do want to know about that though, because that will help our guys. Let's not have it on pause. Um, so yeah, okay, so the air situation then. Is that the same everywhere? I can't see any enemy aircraft over our territory. So why have we got all these areas just being bombed the hell out of then? Hmm. I'm not sure. Right, lend lease. Yes, please. Give me your trucks. Mind you, they are in a war against the Soviet Union, so they won't be able to help us for that long, I don't think. 
Uh, dive bombing is done, so that is a good thing. We can carry on that, I reckon. Let's do that. We still haven't got enough points, but we have got off 0.5%. Well, 0.05% per day. Which will take forever, but we need to, a bit more combat, I reckon. Um, can we cut this guy off? Let's have a crack at this guy. Bloody river involved, because every time we want to do anything, there's always a sodding river involved in there. God, let's get some support in there. Let's cut these guys off, whoever they are. And we have another invasion. Well, it's the Japanese coming back again, and not obviously not listening to what I was on about, about naval supremacy, because again, we have 100%. I can't do a naval invasion into that area if if I, if the shoe was on the other foot I would not be able to do it so how is the computer able to do that it's cheating well we are moving in guys so these guys have not got a clue what's going on there and they have found themselves surrounded they obviously thought the Americans on that side were their Americans but they're not And how many have we caught there? Well, there's only one division, it says there. Oh, they've disappeared, so... Can we get rid of that now? Because that's just... There are a lot in 14 divisions there that don't need to be there. Halt. Yep, move into your right areas, please. Right, where are we going to hit next? I think that is a good position to actually go into there. But, let's find out. What are we facing? There's three divisions there. I'm not going to be able to tackle them with two divisions. Even four divisions. No. Let's bring that to a halt. I want to try and keep my forces growing if we can. Um, non aggression pack, don't care. I've dealt with your leader. Um, can we put some pressure on there? I tell you what, we're probably going to need to do is get an airfield up here, and then that guy can actually use the F. Oh no, it'd be that one. Well, hold on, can we do this? I don't like attacking over in a, over a river, but how many divisions have we got there? Well, there's four divisions, and that's enough for us to stop like that. Damn. Don't care. And let's stop that attack, because... I reckon if we do really bad attacks with this guy, then their expeditionary forces will actually go home. So let's not have that. And another. More Japanese? Oh yes, look, more Japanese. What a surprise. Yeah, do you know, we could do with some ships out there, really, couldn't we? Is that, there's no enemy ships out there, so their convoys... That's the point. Their convoys. Um, I've got now. I haven't got naval bombers, have I? We captured anything? Oh, we have. We've cap. Hold on. We've captured. Aren't they Russian? How have we captured naval Russian bombers? What the hell? Uh, we'll have them out there because that will. Re Reduce the amount of effective force that's out there. We have got a navy though. I don't know where they are, but let's get them up. We'll get them up to there. And then they can convoy raid here, and here, and here. That'll stop those sneaky Japanese. 
Right, in the meantime, um, we're relying on the Germans, basically, to and the Confederated States to eat into the United States. They've got no manpower, though, but they've got divisions. Okay. I'm not too sure that's going to actually play out successfully, unless Germany is heavily supporting them. And if that is a continual place where they are going to try to attack, I'm going to put one of them on there. Because the computer likes to repeat mistakes. And I tell you what we need to do now is get another one of those up there. Anti-aircraft, how are we doing? There should be one in every area now, so that will reduce the amount of flak that we have to put up with. Will that actually affect on our side? I think it will. Right, we're building that one anyway. I can't build the naval fort yet because it's currently under attack, so... Did we get all the troops from there? We did, good. I suppose we're going to have to kind of have this area protected as well. Um, we've got our 100 points now, so... Okay, when that comes up, I think we'll go for our next land doctrine. Which just seemed like ages and ages away. Um, how about a multi-pronged attack into that area? What is this? Oh, yes please, thank you. That is our neighbours. That was the Confederated United States. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I've just noticed. The Confederated States of America. That was... Mm, yeah, it was a different name before, wasn't it? Shows how observant I am. Um, That's a bit far ahead, isn't it? Should we get... Uh, no, I'm just thinking what I should be doing, and I should be doing that. That's what I should be doing. Right, again, we still need factories. We're running out of equipment basically everywhere. We have deficits that we are getting through, but... It's going to take a while. Um, we'll reduce that to... Actually, we're going to need 236, but... Yeah. Okay, so the Iraqi people's state has capitulated. Okay. Sure. Um, that's an issue, I'm sure. Um, hmm... Okay, we're now up on motorized, so let's reduce that. I didn't think it would have that kind of effect, thank you very much. We do need to increase that. Alright, okay, so we're actually producing mechanized again. We're finally getting around to everything being organized, I hope. Uh, hold on, we need to do that. Um, improved anti-tank? I can't see it, it's there. Right at the bottom, where the cursor was. At uh, mouse, even. Um, right, where do we want our steel to come from? Soviet Union. Why not? Let's go for both sides. National Spain, support equipment, thank you very much. And a research slot. Wow, okay, we're being blessed. Uh, land doctrine is on the way, so uh, not a lot we can do there. Air doctrine is being done by that. Can we do that yet? 213 days is still way too far ahead for my liking. We could do that, I suppose. Have we got any support companies? Well, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that guys and girls on the field who are engineers will be impressed with that decision. Bit of flight of the Valkyries, methinks. Okay, so we've got 247 points at the moment. K 
can we do anything? Uh, no, well, if, if we did that, it improves one, then takes down the other one. Can't do that. I would like improve work and conditions again, but... No, don't want to do that. That just reduces our stability. We want our stability increasing. Um, I'm sure these are already in the Alliance. We can't do El Salvador because they are our allies. So I'm not sure about that. Right, we did actually take that territory. Good. It is January though, so this area is quite frosty. We could do that though, but seriously, I didn't ask for them. And we have another naval invasion. Oh, hold on. No, I'm, I'm just thinking why they're moving there. They're moving there because the computers decided to go stupid. Well, wow, these Japanese are really having a go on this area. Well, hopefully we can get a naval battle out here and we can sink some of these convoys. Because our... If you didn't notice there, that's not very high. That's nine divisions versus one. So they are really going for it. I'm going to decline that because I don't really care about them. Um, let's make sure that we're not actually missing out on anything. Naval doctrines is not going to make any difference at the moment, I don't think. It would do if we had some ships. Better aircraft, maybe? Mm, we could upgrade our tanks as well, I suppose, at this stage. Is that fort? That fort's there, so that fort's actually doing that job for them. If they land 10 divisions there, though, that's going to be an issue. Right, I want somebody that's really, really well trained to just sit on that port just to be the garrison. I don't know where you are, but move there, because they need support. Right, how are we doing on this side? Um, well, we are in a waiting game, it looks like. Um, they are. Have they progressed? Well, I'm not sure. Okay, we did move in there. Good. Uh, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to be at an attack back into these areas. Can I do that from there? And then get them to move in there. How many is there? There's only two divisions, so maybe. Um, don't even think about doing that. Seriously. Half them again. Half them take on them. There's two troops there, and we're moving into the mountains, but actually, we could have done that. Actually, how many is there? It's three divisions. Is that a lake? Should have maybe delayed that attack until I'd actually got into there. They don't seem to have noticed though. There's only one division there, so let's see if we can exploit that. They're retreating there. Good, good, good. It's going to be one tile at a time at the moment because Mexico versus USA, mm, they're not so good. As you can see, this should have been over already. 
What do we got here? Lend lease. Oh yes, please. Thank you very much. Are we sitting in a better position? Apart from the support equipment, I think we are. That support equipment is going to be necessary though. So where is it? It's there. We, we could actually improve the uh, cap on there as well. I'm going to reduce that to that. Is everything still accounted for? It is roughly. How are we doing with those factories? We're not actually producing them. Get them bloody produced, please. Radar and anti-air. They're next. Let's get our priorities sorted. Come on, get in there before these guys actually attack. Can we not attack again? Oh, that was not good. Why are we still currently losing on that when it's only that guy that's actually attacking? Yeah, come on, sort this guy out. No, that's just turned crap on it. They put more divisions there. Yep. Just hold, because you lot are stupid, or I am, one or the other. I'm not going to attack into that, but is that too? tiles there I'm gonna try and take that how are we doing still would like to move up here because I think the Japanese are actually invading from this area oh what a surprise talk about them and they will appear is this that guy no where's this guy He's still making his way. Seriously? Can you not get up there quicker? Not like that. Just get up there. Go by train. I'm talking about the best infrastructure in the whole of the northern United States there. Uh, right, okay, where did we end up here? Well, we didn't end up anywhere, did we? Are we actually getting into there? I think, maybe. I'm not too sure why they're all going, not all going that way. Uh, don't think he's got anything else to do, although if he does come up with adaptable on his mountain, divisions that would be helpful right that is actually coming down good thank goodness for that do need to do something about our artillery though because we keep on suffering with that um, right okay so that's the last of that done 193 days is still a bit long, I think, I reckon. How are we doing on trade? Because it won't tell us if we're actually going over. You don't get no warnings about that. Why not? Um, we're doing the engineers, aren't we? So, um, I think maybe the tank, yes. Let's go to things for the, that are offensive. Right, will we be able to do anything about that? Or will they shove two divisions in there? Uh, no, we did actually get that, didn't we? Okay, so we did. So let's half these, have them go there. Let's break out. Five troops moving up. No, 
five troops moving up, I think you'll find. You move back there, because I don't know why you're there. And again, look, this is just stupid, this is... We've got a non-aggression pack with these now, so stop friggin' doing that. That means that this guy's not on that order at all. Um, could I get him to push in here, maybe? Uh, if I gave him that... He can move up. The Soviet Union changes their diplomatic status with us. They're cancelling the lend lease. Since when did we have a lend lease with the Soviet Union? I don't think we ever have. Have I clicked it and just not registered it? I don't know. I do wonder sometimes. Uh, right, um, I really want that one, I suppose. You can tell there's military thinking behind my thinking, can't you? I suppose, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just break out, guys. Um, yep, you're moving into that. Good, 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 good. Green troop are coming up. They will support you. Hopefully, anyway. Um, now, does this alter the United States at all? Mm, no. We've still got that naval invasion going on. Okay. Why haven't we attacked their ships? I'm sure I put my navy out there. My navy doesn't seem to have an order apart from here. Seriously. Yeah, that's where I want you. Here. Convoy raiding up there, not down there. Have they been in battle? Wow, they have. Heavy fires, oh dear. Let's get them repairing. That's a broken propeller, oh dear. <laughs> I love these new icons that's appearing on that. That's the first time I've seen that. Broken propeller, unreal. Um, yeah, okay, so we've broken out a bit, I suppose, into America, so let's carry that on. Um, I think it's only justified that we actually take territory like this, because it's ours, of course. Now, I'm not too sure what kind of forces they're actually putting against us there, but... We probably need to move more inwards now, but I'll get Green Troop to do that. Green Troop can force the way uh, probably across there. Why has Black Troop just increased their bit to there? Forcing Grey down there? I have no idea. where I wish my forces now would move faster. But they are infantry, so they have to do what infantry do. Move slow. Okay, talking of infantry equipment. Um, right, I'm going to do several things here. So let's do that. Lend lease from Turkish Empire, support equipment, thank you very much. It's only 99 per month though, so yeah, we are severely short. Because we're attacking, we keep on running down on our artillery. Uh, do you want to get radar going? We don't need the nuclear things, not yet. And you know what the nuclear things are by now, surely. Can we not get these guys to just push straight in there? How 
many divisions we got? There's two divisions there, so we could to get some kind of surround going on. And green troop are taking forever to get into the territory that I want them to get into. And the Japanese are pushing us back, I reckon. Come on, you can do this. You won't be expecting an attack from that side. So go straight in. Uh, don't be doing that, that would be daft. Oh, you're moving up there, are you? Uh, no, do that. How many divisions have they got? There's three divisions there. Okay, so no, let's not do that, not yet. Halt. Right, we have these guys halt now. What have we got? Non aggression pack, non aggression pack, don't care. Don't care. Can I get improved working conditions on the board yet? Mm, no, because it's not there. Okay. What have we got that we can actually use? Aircraft designer, yeah, that'll give us our fighters abilities. Are we using anything at, sh at sea? Something with screens. Um, it's only give us max range on our screens. We haven't got capital ships, we haven't got carriers. I'm gonna go for that. If we actually produce them. Should we actually go up in our... Um, manpower though, that's the thing. Right, that's where we should be able to make an impact now. No, probably not, because they've got four divisions there. We won't be able to sustain that attack from that side. Nope, definitely not. Right, okay, so let's go back to plan zero. Give up. Yep, that was the plan. Uh, right. Green troop, you are completely ballsing up everything because you're not getting into position where you should be. Seriously, just get in here. Take that. Do it as soon as you can. They get support from elsewhere though, that's the thing. So I don't know how many divisions were there, but they just seem to be just sitting there, so... Let's move along. If we can break out there, that'll come as a bit of a shock. Now they're going to push forces into there because that would be daft, I think. And what the hell's going on with my attack lines? How many's there? Two divisions, that's not going to last. Told you. Let's not do that then. Right, this should cause consternation, us going every single place now. Should, but does it? Not sure.
the fall of Kiev. Wow, okay. So they are actually getting somewhere in the USSR. How many divisions are there? There's three divisions. So if you attack from there, and you guys attack from there, and then you attack from there, we've got unfulfilled, down we're running out of steel. Um, Let's ask our mates. I've just seen the free American Empire there and just, just lost it. We go, let's ask them because they are close. Everything will be going to the Germans if we're not careful. Um, and it's these that we're probably missing it from. Let's ask for some more from the Soviet Union. Apparently is that is that too much? Or are we gonna catch up on that? We may catch up on that. Non-aggression pack, don't care. Right, you guys attack. See if we can do some damage to the enemy, and we are. So let's move him forwards. And here we have a nice little surround. Okay. So if you're in this part of the United States, I would be holding on to your ears in a second because I'm about to launch my attack. Um. You just stay there, sir. Let's pull them back that way. Why do you need to be moving there? You don't. How many troops are left there? There's, a, there's one retreating, there's one attacking, so... We could actually get those to attack into there. Hmm, not sure on that. No, I was thinking that there was a little thing there that I could actually attack through. Oh, I can, but no, I can't. Be moving them out of position. Can we go for an attack into there? Again? Still two divisions there. Let's have them try something. Right, what are we doing? We have two retreats from this side. Good. They're not going to know where to go. They've been attacked from that side. They're moving in. They've got nowhere to go. Am I sorry about this? No. remove them from the playing field. Let's just alter that. Wow, that's a lot from Germany that they can't actually do. Okay, where are we going to get that from? United, Soviet Union then. We'll go to the other side. Kill. Don't go round, kill. And they are being killed. Don't need to do all those though, because that's just daft. Kill that as an order. Halt. Should have one go in there, not everybody. Right, Grey Troop, gonna have to find you a place to go. Um. Greens. Let's get rid of your order there. Let's have you do. Can I do that? Then we'll have you 
do that. And then the rest of them can find themselves on an order somewhere. And wait for the Japanese to just try and invade again. Yep, we're getting low... Hold on, what's this? California. Naval combat. Ooh. Yep, that was against their convoys. Good. Kill their convoys off. But that will just incite their navy to come out and play. That's the problem with that. What were we on about? Yep. So they've just been attacked, but they're still attacking. They have got destroyers and cruisers in that little line up though. Yep. Catch them at sea, kill them at sea. Okay, that's our better fighter, uh, which is all well and good. Um, right, we got the new tank on the way, didn't we? Let's go for our next mechanized. Right. Great, that. Forget about the rocket interceptor, because that's just seriously annoying. Apparently we've got one factory to play with, so where do we want it? I think on there. Gonna increase all of those buy one now. Buy one, get one free. Right, okay. We still need more steel apparently. So on our next adventure we could actually get more industry. What we got going on here? Paraguay? Sure, why not? And Cuba? Sure. Can we get some more troops from these? Um, can I introduce them to these? No. Apparently they don't like this guy. Okay, um, we won't do that then. Let's get them in there then. Uh, or maybe they won't anyway. Bolivia doesn't like the idea. They're not actually on board yet. Not them, not them, and not them. Okay, sure, why not? Two divisions, better than nothing. We're going to need that guy to do more territory. That's what I'm thinking about him. And how are we doing on time? We've gone over on time. Uh, let's not do that, though. Okay. That is how we stand at the moment. We have bitten a few more chunks out of the United States. Um, I would have thought that these guys would have done more in this episode, but they haven't. Let's just check out the rest of the world. Whoa, that's a bit larger than I think it was in the last episode but they're not anywhere near moving to conquer the allies. Vichy France has actually done quite well there because that was all the United Kingdom Turkish Empire taking more territory so okay fair enough we shall see what happens in the next episode this is me White of War and we have been playing Hearts of Iron for like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Bye.